What's going on, YouTube world and YouTube tribe? Welcome to Little Bit Mac Game, bringing you, you know, that means to review for Monday Night Raw. But first things first, I can get everybody to hit that like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification button also so you can get notified when I drop a video. Um, for those who are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? I'm the hottest, newest gaming, unboxing, media, review, reaction, all that great stuff. All bundled into one, at least for now. At least for now. You know, at least for now. Yeah, for now. Once I get a good enough fan base, I might make another channel where I just have one complete thing and one other complete thing. Like, like I might have a like this the channel I'm currently on. Currently on has everything, but I probably make another channel where it just pure review and reactions and stuff, and it just leads just to be pure gaming or whatever. But that's like so far down the world. Um, those who are subscribed, thank you, love you, appreciate you, and uh, yeah, just allow me to entertain you. You know, let's get we're gonna get right into it. So, let's break down the go home raw before WrestleMania. Let's see, we, we started out with a promo for uh, raw. They open Drew McIntyre opened up raw with a promo. Basically, just talking about how he's on. He's basically want to redeem himself by beating Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania and becoming WWE Champion again. For if he were to, if if he were to win, would be the third time, I believe. Yeah, because he beat he beat uh, Brock Lesnar. That was his first time. Got beat by Randy Orton, then beat Randy Orton back for the title. Yeah, so this would be his third. He would be three time WWE champion if he um went if they go that route and he wins at WrestleMania. And he cut, he also cut the pat he cut a uh, speech about how um his mother was battling battling cancer, which I really respect and appreciate it. Um, and then he would get interrupted by Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley would basically come out telling him that, you know, he get it. You know, he he was on a sick. It took him 17 years. Why it took Bobby? I think I might have this mixed up, but I'm pretty sure it was 17 years for uh, Drew McIntyre and 16 years for Bobby Lashley. And uh, but and he said, I get it. I understand where you're coming from, but your time is up in the Almighty era. Is now. And he basically saying that, you know. Drew McIntyre will fail at WrestleMania because this is the Almighty era, and his time as the champion is uh is now up. But uh, uh, I was about to say Bobby and then Roman. <laughs> uh, Drew basically taunted Bobby about how he needed people to take him out. Bobby said he don't need nobody to take him out. Blah blah blah. This and blah 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 that. And then MVP basically said he would how he would fail at WrestleMania that it would it would end the same with him unconscious on the ground and ultimately the loser of the match. And, but he said that's Sunday you gotta worry about if you even make it to Sunday. Then Baron Corbin came out basically it said how he's going to destroy Drew McIntyre and basically take his place at WrestleMania for the WWE Championship match. Um, we would get uh, not, we would get the first match of the night, which was uh, Kofi Kingston, uh, Kofi not Kofi Kingston, but uh, Xavier Woods going up against AJ Styles again with Kofi Kingston and almost at ringside. I guess it, I think it's like a rematch for last week. I think they did this whole match last week, but the um uh, the it ended differently because this time around, um. Uh, Xavier did uh, Xavier not Xavier but Kofi he hit uh, almost with a, uh, with a microphone which, is, which, which distracted almost which also distracted AJ Styles allowing Xavier to get the roll up pin you know then afterwards they took off because you know almost got to the ring trying to do, try to get after them for the distraction but um well, I really didn't care for this particular match. I did like the little segment um, beforehand. I forgot to mention that uh, before the match started, it was a little like a backstage promo with uh, AJ, with AJ sorry, with uh, Kofi and Xavier talking to 
our resident bro, <laughs> Matt Riddle. And I like that little conversation they had because he even, he, he even threw a little Dragon Ball Z reference in there. How he said almost and them could get in the ring and be over, they piled up would be over 9,000. You know, so it was, I, I like that. It's a little cool anime throw in. Um, yeah, then we would get the Braun Strowman promo after this, after the AJ Styles and uh, Xavier Woods match. We get a promo where they ran a video package just rehashing what we know, what we've seen up to this point with Sherman Man and Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman would then come out and cut a promo in the ring with the ring um, being in cage. They lowered the cage just to symbolize what Braun Strowman was saying, how he would, how it would basically be nowhere to run, he will, uh, and how he was bullied all his life. And that basically at WrestleMania, he will be destroying Shane McMahon. Um, I think Shane McMahon would come out again to continue taunting uh, Braun Strowman. And which would lead, which would lead Shane McMahon to reveal that Braun Strowman, uh, that he was basically saying he was smarter than Braun, and uh, he basically revealed that it would be a two-on-one handicap match tonight between basically Braun Strowman versus Elias and Jackson Riker, and that would be like the next match after that was to be match number two. I believe, yeah, that's match number two of tonight of uh, uh, Raw, where he would basically go, they would have their little offense, you know, Braun did his thing. Being a monster, it really wasn't too much eventful, like, it, they had the usual spots, the usual double teaming on Braun, it was like, it was, a, it was like a two-on-one, almost tornado tag handicap match, because Jackson Riker and, um, Elias wouldn't have to tag out. They just was basically uh, fighting at the same time. So that's why I said tornado tag handicap. Um, but Braun Strowman would win by by uniquely pinning both uh, Elias and Jackson Riker. Um, I'm trying to see. I think the Bad Bunny segment was next. If I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm trying to. I uh, think the bad boy match was next. The segment was next. I, well, I thought it was. No, yes, yeah, it was. Cause I think um, cause I forgot right before the because I was about to say the I know the the next match was Real Ripley and Oscar versus uh versus uh not uh, Naya and Sonya Blazer. Uh, but yeah, but right before that, like right before the match started, uh, there would be a, a it was a set backstage segment uh, promo with uh, Bad Bunny, and he basically that uh, not Bad Bunny. It, he it was it didn't start off with Bad Bunny at first, but it was bad. It, it was. Miz and Morrison defacing Bad Bunny's um what they say one point six um, million dollar Bugatti and it was um uh, it 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 was I'm I'm just like ooh it was it had to be a white Bugatti too because they used red paint and just basically was singing hey hey ha ha they was humming the tune for that and um. They was humming the tune for that. They actually um, wrote some of the. Uh, they they wrote some of the l little lyrics, and they wrote uh, you know Bad Bunny's little, little insignia on the car and whatnot. And then Bad Bunny would basically come out. He would basically come out, uh, or not come out to the ring, but he would he would come for wherever he was backstage and see that his Bugatti has been basically def uh, defaced. Very, very, he was very upset, and then he would get jumped by the Miz and um and John Morrison, and we'll have more uh, more on that later. But that's the setup what the next segment would would be later. But then they turn their focus back on to the match between Rhea Ripley and with Rhea Ripley Oscar versus Naya Naya and Sonya. 
which was that at first it was a cohesive working team. You know, the whole story was can they work together? You know, would they coexist after the after what happened last week or whatnot? And for the most part, they did. They did coexist. The match was decent and good until um, until uh, out of nowhere, like left field nowhere. Um, Rhea Ripley just turned on uh, Oscar and beat the holy hell out of her, and um, threw her back into the ring to be beaten by um, Sonya Blazer, which was, uh, was I guess is her turning heel. Who knows, right? But I still I'm still under the impression that um, that Rhea is going to win at WrestleMania and beat Oscar. To give new life into the championship picture, um, which we call it. They, they, then there was a, it was an immediate backstage segment with uh, with the uh, with the tactic with Reginald and Naya and all of them. Basically, it was talk it was talking about. Cause it was revealed that at WrestleMania will be on night one on my birthday this Saturday. It would be. A, a, a fatal four-way tag team match with um, the Riot Squad, the Riot Squad versus Mandy Rose and uh, it, yeah, the Riot Squad versus Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke versus um, Naomi and Lana versus Tamina and uh, Tamina and Natalya. So it will be it will be them four teams. Uh, going up against each other, but it's also been rumored that that's going to change. Is that it's actually going to be Billy Kay, possibly Billy Kay, and uh, uh, Carmella. Yeah, it's supposed to be possibly Billy Kay and Carmella going against each other uh, and being added to make it a fatal five way. But you know, but they had a little backstage set for right now. It was the the uh, main four teams uh, who will be in the match, basically, ta basically taunting and ta uh, Naya and Sonya with Naya and Sonya, like, hey, look, y'all got to settle that on night one, and then come talk to us on night two, where you will face us for the title, and we don't got time for this. So that that was a nice little cool segment. Um, I think I want to, I think, Right after that, yeah, it was the uh, Bobby Lashley. Right, that, right after that was the um, Bobby Lashley versus uh, Cedric Alexander. But before we get to that, there was a promo backstage with um, with Cedric, basically you know, with uh, Cedric and um, with Cedric and uh, Selton confronting uh, MVP. About the you know roughing him up a little bit, like basically just him and him and him up against the wall, telling him that he better listen, and they basically telling him, hey, look, you know, y'all, you had I can't believe you had the audacity that 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 bring us out last week and tell us that we um that we was an embarrassment to the uh, hurt business that we disgraced ourselves that blah 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 this and blah blah that and that. He said, "I might." He said, "You're just nothing but a washed-up, leeching has been, uh, cripple has been. Sorry, that um, that's going to get exposed." And he, by he said, "You know, I would. I can't wait to see uh, Drew." He said, "I might not beat uh, Bobby last year tonight, but I'm, I will lead him. I'm scarred to remember me by." And he said, "He said." Then he told you know MVP that. He can't, they can't wait. Him and Sutton can't wait to see Drew McIntyre kick his teeth in and uh, take the title from him. And then you know Cedric uh, walked away, and then Sutton Benjamin just straightened up his suit and stuff and told him to keep his crippled ass out the way. And then that's where we get the match with Bobby Lashley versus Cedric Alexander. Uh, it went it went pretty much as I expected. There's only you know the, uh, Cedric did get a good some good offense in. He did take he did look make they did make him look like hey you know he 
basically took Bobby Lashley to some type of limit. But Bobby Lashley would end up doing his thing, destroying Sadie Alexander, putting him in the hurt lock. Um, then he was about to, uh, then he was like about to continue beating him, and then uh, something basically tell him, "Hey, look, it's over with. Stop, it's, you know, stop it. Don't do no more, no more." And then, uh, you know, basically. Uh, uh, Sutton would try to help Cedric, but he would end up getting put in the hot, hurt lock himself. But yeah, Bobby Lashley won that match. Um, I still don't think they should have broke up the hurt business. I really don't. Like, I really don't think they should have broke up the hurt business. Cause it's, it, it, it was like one of the good things that was helping Bobby Lashley. And then breaking up the hurt business. That's a bold confidence well for Bobby Lashley retaining the title at WrestleMania. Because I would love for, to see Bobby continue being the almighty champion. And not just the, not just do all this just to have him become champion. Then him to lose it to Drew McIntyre. But all, all sides point to Drew McIntyre. Um, you know, beating him at WrestleMania. Up next, we got a promo from Randy Orton. Uh, talking about uh, how he's going to... Oh, wait a minute. It's, it, I'm sorry. It wasn't a promo. It was a, a video package because technically there was no Randy Orton. It, technically on the show, Randy Orton or Alexa Bix or The Fiend before WrestleMania never showed up. There was no there was no backstage promo. There was no nothing. They just played a video package of Randy Orton. Uh, w- previous lines, we heard Randy Orton saying about how he was basically going to had to sink to the lowest depths of of hell to defeat um, the uh, fiend. So you know, yeah, we didn't get no nothing from them at all this week, which was a change. I think this is the first time in weeks that we didn't have that we didn't have them. But yeah, like I said, it was an awkward ass video package that don't I don't think was actually even really necessary. Um, but yeah, that's where we, we will get the promo from, uh, we will get a uh, promo for Bad Bunny. I think the Bad Bunny promo was next. Yeah, yeah, the Bad Bunny, the Bad Bunny promo was next because, uh, this was what the continuation of what happened earlier with they, them defacing the car and, you know, them attacking Bad Bunny. Um, this promo basically was Damian Priest, cause I forgot Damian Priest came when like when they ran when they chased the Miz and Morrison and all, you know, uh, Alan Pierce and some more bad sets Fisher chasing the Miz and them all from attacking Bad Bunny and uh Damian Priest so that. So Damian Priest and uh, uh, here come Bad Bunny and Damian Priest, you know, the, uh, Bad Bunny basically is t- saying how, you know, he was excited, you know, when he first got here he was excited to be here. He was excited to, you know, to, to work with WWE, to be in, to be at the at the WWE, you know, in the WWE ring, you know, and how basically he he lo- that's why he created that song he did for Booker T called Booker T. I think that was the name of the song, Booker T, and cause he said he had respect for those like those the people that made like helped him enjoy the the Booker T, Undertaker, Stone Cold, you know. And he was saying those. That's why he was here. And he said now being attacked by the Miz and John Morrison, he said he don't know. He said he's been attacked. His car been defaced. It's pissing him off. So basically, the rumors were true about Damian Priest and and Bad Bunny tag teaming with each other to go to uh, go against John Morrison and the Miz. Because it's it, at first, you know, I guess. The cover up that the cover up that lead they made it seem like it was gonna be a one on one between Bad Bunny and the Miz, but it ended up the la the Monday before WrestleMania, and will end up turning into a tag team. It's gonna be now it's gonna be Damian Priest and Bad Bunny versus the Miz and uh, John Morrison. So that's basically what came of that promo. Um. I wish they just would have done it from the beginning, because we already knew, we already heard the leaks and knew that it was going to possibly be a tag team match. That yeah, here we are, and now there's no bill for it. Now you, the all the bill is for your um, is now for it was for the singles match, but now you turn it. it it's stupid. 
Uh, yeah, we would get the next match, which is Riddle versus Mustafa Ali, which surprisingly was a good match. I didn't expect it to be uh, too much of a good match, but it was actually a good match with Seamus at ringside. There was a funny little backstage promo with Seamus and um, Mustafa. You know, basically, you know, Seamus tried to get, was trying to egg um, Mustafa on to roughing up uh, Matt Riddle. You know, softening them up for the WrestleMania match. But, you know, you, uh, uh, Mustafa, I got my own reasons for wanting to fight uh, Mustafa. And I, uh, I mean, Riddle, I know you got him at WrestleMania. But I'm going to go out there and try to beat him for my purposes, not yours. And then you would get Matt Riddle just zooming on his. He he just zooms between them on his scooter. And he just zooms between them. I'm just like, wow. Like, just wow. Like that, that is the most stupidest but entertaining yet gimmick they have for him. A little stoner California bro dude. But that would, um, that would lead into the uh, match with Riddle versus Mustafa with Seamus at ringside. It was a good back and forth match, but as usual, Matt Riddle won by hitting the uh, bro Derek. And pin uh, uh, Mustafa one two three, which would bring us, I think, into the main event. I think it was the main event, and I'm trying to remember was there any more segments before this main event? Because I think that was, I think that was like, I don't think it was no more promos, it was no more anything. I think the final segment was just, uh, I think that was final, the final. Thing of the night, they just was just the. Uh, I think this is actually where I think it is. And it's just a main. It's just a main event. Yeah. So basically, it was the main event. Basically, the next thing after that, they just went into they. You know, they paid B packet to remind them what's going to happen at WrestleMania. You know, they uh, be, uh, all the matches that's going to be on night one and night two. Uh, we did get uh, what's going to happen today, you know, Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. Like, it's basically going to be a whole week of wrestling. Um, yeah, then we get Drew McIntyre versus King Corbin, which was surprising in itself a good match as well. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just very surprised that that was a good match. King Corbin had his spots. Uh, Drew McIntyre, of course, hitting the future side DT. Um, you know, Baron Court. Uh, yeah, Drew McIntyre hitting the future shot DT, Barry Corbin hitting his moves. You know, it was actually a good match. I was just a, was it, you know, because I'm not really a big fan of King Corbin, but, or Baron Corbin in the whole. But it was a surprisingly good match. It was entertaining. Uh, yeah, just Drew, Drew did his thing. You know, Baron Corbin, you, I, I, care, on characteristics made me like that he did his thing. But, um, but yeah, he, he uh, Drew. I think MVP even tried to tell uh, uh, Corbin like this. It's not about winning the match. It's about taking him out so you could be in the match at WrestleMania. So he tried to use. Uh, he even gave Corbin the cane to use against uh, to use against uh, Drew McIntyre. But Drew would reverse that into the Claymore kick, beating uh, uh, King Corbin. Uh, Bobby Lashley and then will come out to have a stare down to end the show. That's basically how it ended. After, the, after Drew won the match, it was just a stare down. They just. At WrestleMania, you know what happens. I'm not really. Uh, fight, at least. Come start swinging to end the show. But yeah, that's how the show ended. Um, was I to get, since this is a go home edition of. Um, Monday Night Raw. The fact that it was it was lackluster to say the least. Like it wasn't a good go home show. Uh, and I'm not even about to get into the segments that I didn't really care for. I mean, there the uh, there's it was every like I'll say this I'll put it this way every segment wasn't good, but every segment wasn't bad. So if I had to give this show anything, just because it's a go home. Raw and it didn't really get me that excited for WrestleMania. I would give this a seven. Yeah, I would give this a seven big ups. Just because it really didn't get me excited for WrestleMania, but it didn't make me hate WrestleMania. It just it just I felt bad that this was a go home raw 
and nothing really exciting happened. But yeah, that's it. You want want to see more of my reviews, daily reviews? Click this button right here. Hit this button right here to subscribe or hit any one of these amazing videos. I'm out. Peace out. See you in the next one.